All right, Rob, let's get into it. Big upset. I mean, it was a lot of games yesterday. Dallas is impressive. Philadelphia comes up with a good win. Uh, San Francisco loses to Cincinnati. Cincinnati surging. San Francisco falling. And that we'll was a big win by that. that. By the, that but, was, what, yeah. what the Bengals did, Chris, on the road. In that, in that game, the spread, they were getting five and a half points. Like that's yeah, how, you well, know what I mean? We both picked them, didn't we? I know I picked them. I picked them to win outright. Yeah, I did. I, I think picked you them. picked them. I don't know if you picked them. Just I picked the them. Points, yeah, but yeah, but I, I, they're playing great football, and Joe Burrow is back, and um, that was a that was the best win of the weekend. I mean, obviously, people might say Denver over Kansas City, but that's kind of a fluke, you know. Obviously, you know, Kansas City didn't play well. Denver played very well. Uh, and Rob, I, it, they got five turnovers and still barely won. So that's how bad Sean Payton's team is. But hey, they got a victory. Now they're at three. So uh, good for them. But uh, Patrick Mahomes had a poor outing, to put it kindly, Rob. Uh, 24 for 38, that's 63%. 241 yards, his lowest in a, more than a month. Um. He had no touchdowns and two picks for a passer rating of 59.2. And a lost fumble, too, Chris. And a lost game. fumble. Yep. So three turnovers on him. So uh, what would you think of that? I, it, it was shocking that he played that poorly. And and he, and what was the other game this year he also didn't play uh, against the Jets? Remember that game? He didn't play particularly well. In that one game, one touchdown, two picks in that game. Yeah, I mean, if he plays a normal game. The Jets have no shot at winning that game. The Jets rolling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they can't. They can't score. But they, I know. I don't know how they do it. And, and Chris, the Giants could play that game a hundred times. They will win that game ninety. Like, uh, like Giants are horrible too. Horrible. I mean, and they're no, offense, but I'm just saying. But they, they still, couldn't even get a yard past. Right. Them. But they. But I they. Mean, but at that point, with whatever it was, Saquon seventeen seconds, was all they had. You got to be able to win that game. It's ridiculous. But anyway, yeah. yeah uh, Patrick uh, Mahomes. We we saw and and we talked about this earlier in the year. You just can't. You know, Eric Bieniemy. Everybody said he didn't do anything but just stand there. So. I'm not saying that he makes anybody, but the offense hasn't been the same. And you can't keep stripping down players, Chris, uh, from anybody. I don't care who you are as a quarterback. You saw this later in Tom Brady's career. You can't carry just any old body, right? You got to have some people who can make plays for you. And uh, as we go on, uh, but you ask people in the league, and I guess this is really what we're talking about, is they're quick to always say, Patrick is the best quarterback in the league, right? And most of that is off reputation. It's not off of his play this year. He is not the best quarterback in the so league. So who's the better? I'm talking about playing this year? Like better no, numbers. No, just period. Better. No, I'm talking about who's playing Because it ain't better. always about numbers. I mean, if who's like playing in, the NBA, in the NBA, the best player doesn't necessarily have the best year. Yeah, no, no, no. But I'm just saying you know? playing like this year, like he was leading. I, I don't know one, that anybody, he was leading. He was leading for the uh, uh, MVP, MVP a that year was, ago. I no, mean, I'm year, sorry, a week ago. A week, a week ago. ago. Right. And, and Which he should have been. I honestly think he was, should have been last week. Really? I he, think it's very, this thing is very, because nobody, Rob, at the quarterback position. But Russell is Wilson having has a had phenomenal better numbers season. than him. Uh, nah, not really. Patrick Mahomes I mean, has double the interceptions. Russell Wilson has one touchdown more than more. Mahomes. I mean, those two, I'm going to get into yeah, all the but, other stats. But Mahomes four, throwing four more yards more, per game. More, four more interceptions, turnovers, and I didn't even count right. the fumbles. I mean, that, those are big. That's all. Yeah, but he, I, I, I still think he clearly is the best quarterback in the league. Because one thing you're seeing, all these, everybody's having bad weeks. There's weeks with Lamar, and we're like scratching our head. Wow. There's weeks with Tua. Tua's throwing a lot of interceptions too, but he, you know, he he has the the touchdowns and stuff like that. He's having a better year, I'd say, but I think he's his weapons are way better than than what Mahomes has. Josh Allen, I mean, how many weeks are we like, my goodness, Trevor Lawrence? He's getting a lot of love because the Jags are six and two. He's got nine touchdowns in eight games. Uh, Jalen Hurts just two weeks ago, Rob. Has seven touchdowns and seven picks, and and other people, and I think you included, 
were saying, my goodness, was last year kind of a one-hit wonder? Like, nobody, the, uh, the one quarterback I feel the most confident in, and I didn't even pick them to win the Super Bowl this year, but the one comp quarterback I feel the most confident in is Patrick Mahomes. Like, I don't feel like there is any question he is clearly the best. Now, Joe Burrow looked great yesterday, and maybe, you know, now that he's kind of back to himself, you might put him in that group. But to me, it's Mahomes and then everybody else. Now, there's levels of them, but, but yeah, he's not having as good of a year as he did last year. Or, or this might be it's one of his worst years for sure. But when you say he's going off reputation – yeah, you mean last year when he won the MVP no, and no, the no. Champ- Super Bowl? No, because two <laughs> I mean, years. No, because he's played five years. He's no, got two Super Bowls and I, two I MVPs. I got it. But two of the last three years, two years ago, he had seven straight games with interceptions. He didn't have a, a Patrick Mahomes type season. That was that was but two they years. Still no, got but to Chris, the, to, let me just to the champion. Okay, to the but, AFC I'm try, but I'm talking game, about he had the, 37 TDs. But the way that he's played and his expectations is what I'm trying to say. I'm I'm ready to say this that Patrick Mahomes might have plateaued. We might have seen the best of Patrick Mahomes already in his career, and he may not be better than what he is or where he is. And that's not to say it's bad, but he might have plateaued because two of the last three years have not been what we were used to seeing when he starts so great. When you start so great the first couple years, and Chris, even you – uh, Jordan Ask and he's this and he's that, but two of the last three years weren't what you would call what he had done to start th- his career. Would you agree with that? Two of the three. Well, last the first three years. year, his first year in the league, he threw fifty. You know, I as get a starter, it. I, he threw I get fifty it. touchdowns. But uh, but and, you and expect him to throw fifty again? Yards a game. I get that. So that, that that was his best individual season. So I get that, but. I still think he is the best quarterback I've ever seen, period. He's not the GOAT. Obviously, he's got to accomplish a lot more. But I think he can become the GOAT. Um, I'm not discouraged in the least, but I think, Rob, and you and I talked about this a few weeks ago, I think they're taking him for granted. He doesn't have one reliable wide receiver. He's got Travis Kelsey, but he doesn't have a reliable wide receiver. McCole Hardman, they just brought him back. He bobbled a punt yesterday. It was a fumble. May have cost him the game. Sky Moore drops a perfectly thrown pass in his hands in the end zone. Are they going to cut him? I don't know. But, I mean, his playing time is probably going to get cut at the very least. Rasheed Rice, who I do like, a young player, but he had a pivotal drop yesterday. Uh, MVS, Marquez Valdez-Scantley, who I, I expected big things from when he went to Kansas City. He had a costly fumble. Like, these dudes are like that. And that's where I fought Kansas City's front office. Because, Rob, we've said it. I think they're taking him for granted. I, I said that. You can't keep stripping away everything. Uh, all I'm going to say is statistically, though, you got to admit this is his worst season. And as we go forward, it's surprising that uh, after last year's Super Bowl, and and he, did, he made it without Tyreek. Hill right, right last Tyree year. Hill, which so was that was that was impressive, impressive. last year. Juju and then, Smith-Schuster was his best receiver. And then this year, uh, statistically at least, Chris, this is his worst year. So I the question, yeah, you're my question is, has he numbers are better? I don't yeah. think anybody in their right mind. No, I'm talking about this year. No, but I'm no, I don't think anybody in their right mind would say Russell Wilson's having a better year than Patrick Mahomes. Now, and so obviously nobody would say he's better than Mahomes. Period. But if you his numbers, and I've said this many times on First Things First, Rob, you are right. Russell Wilson's numbers look look really good. But when you watch the game, and I'm not saying he's playing terribly. He's playing much better than last year. But you watch these games, and it's like, man, he's, he's not really, you know, yesterday he threw for 114 yards. You know, now he did have the three touchdowns. Again, he's playing – much better than last year, but it's not vintage Russ. I would say it's not as good as his numbers suggest. And I still think, I don't think there's any doubt Mahomes is the best player in the world. But you are right. He is not having the best season of a quarterback. Right. I'll, I'll give you a give couple you names here. Cousins, Tua, Allen, 
Herbert and Lamar all have better numbers than Mahomes. All playing better this year, I would say. Playing what makes better. you think Lamar's numbers are better? Playing better. Playing better. Like I he Lamar I mean, had you know, it was a week ago Mahomes threw for four hundred twenty something yards. I know, but <laughs> a week the, ago. I know, but the eight interceptions and, and the fumble. And he though, had four touchdowns. I get that. But he he's still, got, he's, he's still, thrown for six more touchdowns than Lamar. He still has fifteen touchdowns and eight interceptions. This is a guy Lamar's got nine touchdowns, three who, interceptions. Who used to have and his four, team is four, six and two. Four interceptions a season. <laughs> he has eight, and we're at the half, not even at the halfway point, or almost. I, he, he never could, had four interceptions a season. His first year when he was great, he had 12. Yeah, but after that, five, I, six, 13. Okay, 12. That, that's what I, I have. Mean, yeah, what I, mean. I, I, I mean, to have he, eight already when we're at halfway at the season, he could, is he going to have 16 interceptions? He might. He might. I, I Like I said, do you he's think he's plateaued or no? No. Okay. No. no. I think they just need to get him a good a, a receiver. He don't have a number two. I don't think he has a number two receiver, a legit number two receiver on. But he still is carrying this team. His best running back, and he is good, Isaiah Pacheco, seventh round pick. He's the receivers are struggling mightily. And Rob, they're six and two. They're six and two. They got the best record in the AFC along with Jacksonville. So I look, they need to help him out with some receivers. I didn't pick them to get to the Super Bowl. I'm with you there. I got Baltimore like you do, but I am certain he's still to me. It's not even a question if he's the best quarterback in the league. Give him a Stephon Diggs. Give him Jamar Chase, T Boy Higgins, T Higgins, Tyler Boyd. All these guys that other quarterbacks have. My goodness! All right, but so let's he go doesn't. Down to uh, he doesn't make everybody better then. He, yeah, he, he should, does, but there's a usually limit. a guy. I understand. He but did it last year. Right. He did it last year. He didn't have his guy last year. They won but the Super Bowl. But you need somebody with some that can catch. These dudes are dropping balls. They're not getting open. They're fumbling on special teams. It's ridiculous. But let's see what the listeners think, bro. This will be interesting. 